in the last video we have learned about the abi encoded in solidity in this video we're going to learn about the abi decode so in abi coded you convert the entire data into bytes but in this time we're going to convert the byte data into a readable format let's follow the general configuration and we have to provide the license identifier and solidity version now let's come here let's create a contract we'll say abi decoded because that's what we're going to do here and inside that we're going to declare the struct and we'll call my struct and the data we want to take is the string name we want to take a unt it's going to be an array two two data we'll take into that and that's the struct we have let's create a function we'll say encoded in that we have to pass the x and we have to pass the address we have to pass the complete array which is a call data array and that's going to be a unt type i believe that these are the similar things we have already done and let's take a my struct and we'll call the call data my struct and now we're going to simply make it external public pure return and we're going to return this abi bytes memory let's return this abi encoded in that we need to pass the entire data so in we have to encode this so we have to x address array my struct and let's come down we create another function we'll call decode and that we need to pass the entire decoded data so bytes call data and data We'll simply come here we're going to create external we'll make it pure we'll make it return and we're going to simply take a couple of variables untx address we want to return the unt complete array in the memory and we have to take the struct memory struct and that's the data we want to return and here we're going to do certain things so we're going to take and we're going to call this we're going to use the deconstructor method I believe that you guys are familiar with javascript so we are deconstructing that x address and the array my struct and this is coming from here because this abi the byte data will have the entire data and in that we need to pass the data and the unt address array and the struct looks fine let's come here close this one and that's the pretty much that's the only thing we have to know we have written this smart contract we have this two function coded and decoded